You are listening to the Cigar Noise Boys. 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 Get us jump, jump into it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you like when you have phones? <laughs> you look like uh, was it Ahmed Khan from Backyard Baseball? Uh, I never played that, but I did pick up a, oh, my turntable's on. I picked up a turntable. Nice. Yeah. I picked up a couple of vinyl records. Uh, you know, it's, it's Austin, baby. Well, um, oh, do I have a line about MCs in here? I might. Ah, forget it. Here we go. Terrorizing suckers on the seven seas. And if you've got beef, you'll get capped in the knees. We got 16 men on a dead man's chest, and I shot those suckers, and I'll shoot the rest. It's already pirate month again. I feel like I, for you, it's yearly. I couldn't year save thing. this. I couldn't save it. Um, dude, I don't know, man. It, you picked the, the wackest rap songs. Uh, my pistol is loaded. I shot Betty Crocker. Deliver Colonel Sanders down to Davy Jones' locker. Rhyming is stealing. Beastie Boys. Ah, uh, okay. Dude, uh... Speaking of, uh, you say something about KFC? I said Colonel Sanders in there, yeah. Colonel Sanders, yeah. Uh, what was that Kanye West song uh, on, the, on the Donda album where he talked about on Sundays? He's like, uh, talk about Kim, Kim K that them two are like the, they go together like, uh, something about, uh, oh, KFC and, uh, Pizza Hut when they joined together. I'm like I, that is it that takes me it's a good song that takes me out of the song when you're what comparing if, your relationship or your marriage to a marriage of pizza hut and kfc have you ever seen those when they're together the, both of them and it's not a good look no uh who else does that long john silver and somebody they'll be in the same building tag team yeah why would you do that like you you're in the mood for one then you might do the other oh um one of my students said they're gonna he's gonna do what he did with uh Life of Pablo and like update some of the tracks. No, that's what uh Drake's been doing with uh certified lover boy. He's Is been Kanye updating. doing that with Donda or no? Uh I'm not sure. Did you listen to the Baby Keem al- album at all yet? No, I haven't. Oh, come on, bro. Uh well let me we'll do a I'm gonna do a three minute thing on uh Baby Keem's album. It's called um it's called the Maletic the melodic blue um you guys need to listen to range brothers track four track five is issues is a good one track eight lost souls is good track nine coco featuring don tolliver who i'm a big fan of uh number 10 family ties with kendrick lamar is good number 11 scars is good number 12 do rag activity with travis scott and 14 first order of business is good um, if you're one of those guys who talk about you don't like rap that they just talk about uh, pussy, weed, and drugs and cash, uh, check out this album because he talks about the struggles of growing up, his mom being in rehab. So it's not just like your typical fuck bitches get money album. So if that's your style. Nice. Um, dude, happy birthday. Thank you, man. Yeah. 33 years young. Uh, I'm now I'm in the age where you say instead of old you say young um i had a good day at uh roma hq uh some guys from my uh full-time gig came we did a little tour uh they really enjoyed it um they asked a million questions about cigars and and john was great john answered every question and uh they loved it man they were there for about three or four hours we had a i had a oreo birthday cake Mm. We had style switch barbecue, which you've had their barbecue. It's great shit. Um, it was a good, it was a good time, man. Solid. Any plans for tonight? Um, I, I plan on doing a podcast with you. Um, and then I'm going to watch a movie and then relax. I took three days off. I got today, tomorrow Sweet. and Friday off. So Friday or tomorrow, I got to go to DMV and finally get my Texas driver's license. And then Friday, I have a uh, cleaner coming over to Casa de Skip to clean since I lived there for six weeks. Um, we're going to, 
I got a cleaner come in there and professionally clean it, even though the place is fucking immaculate. Um, they should be able to breeze through it pretty quick. But um, I don't know when Skip's coming back. I can't wait for him to come back. I feel like I I moved to Austin to be with a girl, and then she just said, you know what? I'm not going to move there. And, <laughs> you know, uh, <laughs> fucking Skip. But uh, I can't wait for him to come back. And uh, I can't wait to visit his new place down in Nicaragua when I get uh, – I get reloaded. I get re up on vacation in January. I go up to six weeks vacation. So I'm going to go down there eventually sometime next year. You knew all in one block the six weeks? No, I, I did a three week block this year when I visited you. Yeah. I did that, uh, that legendary Denver, Phoenix, Phoenix, Vegas, Vegas, San Jose, San Jose, Orange County, Orange County, Milwaukee for one night and then Austin for 10 days. So. Nice. Yeah, man. Um, first off, you got a new gig. Yeah, limited. Um, we're gonna shop now. I'm uh, going to back in this retailer. Uh, good. So I've only done one day solo. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a smaller shop, so they only have one person working at any given time. Uh huh. Um, but currently I'm like a filler spot. So the only time I have, uh, solidified is Sunday closing. Okay. So, um, what's your favorite brand that they carry? Hmm. So I'm, I don't want to say the brands I'm pushing because they have brands that support the shop the most. Okay. Uh, and we're supposed to i don't want to say push them but you know recommend them a little yeah, more yeah. yeah um the ones that i personally like the most in the shop are dapper foundation and crown heads okay so no patina no roma they had they had patina at one point um we'll see if we can i don't know i'm not going to start talking like hey why don't you bring this brand in because it's for a small shop, it has a good amount of smaller brands. Okay. Um, yeah, Dapper Dapper is huge, and I mean that's where Ian's from, so he's able to make the rounds. Mm-hmm. How how far is Fresno from the uh, Bay Area? I have no clue. I want to say maybe four hours. Damn. Well, he makes his rounds. Uh, well, he's got Ses- uh, Alex Sessa. Mm. He uh, he's based out of uh, I don't know how often he makes it up there. He's in Orange County, but he's the uh, foundation dapper dude um i'm a, I'm a little bit sad because i'm going to dallas in three weeks for the roma craft event at michael's where uh my good friend uh brandon Payne, he's the new general manager there and uh i reached out to charlie Minato, half wheel fame and we were gonna chop it up at the uh, hq or his uh office but he hit me up today and said he's going to be in New York. Mm. Yeah. Life so. and story. Yeah. I was looking forward to chopping up with uh, Charlie Monado, but he won't be there. So bummer. Um, let's go through some of the Instagram questions and topics so we don't forget. I don't even know how many, because when we dropped off the last time, we had like half our listener count. So we're just yeah. doing this now yeah it's um for the future no it's fine i mean we're just gonna it's there's been a lot of change and then uh i mean you do a good job on the instagram and uh you know we haven't really had guests that many guests you know it's been it's true but it's, yeah i mean with uh with covid man and all the shit you got to deal with teaching and then me moving and temping you know hopefully i mean that's the thing we're i think we're in it for the long haul you know so as long as we just don't you know, if we go a month without doing it, it's, it's over, you know? Yeah. But, I mean, that's the, Oh, I looked up the record of constipation. I think it was like 40 something days. Ooh, that sounds uh, bad. Uh, yeah. Miserable. So you said our, our listeners have fallen off half. Well, I can't really compare. Cause it's been what 20 days since we published the last one. Okay. Um, but does it, it was, eventually, does it eventually get up to where they were or no? It was pretty big right before the trade show after the trade show i think there was a drop and i can't remember i'll have to look again 
Yeah, no, I'm it's it's fine. I mean, we're not analytics. we're not we're not in it for the money. I mean, fame, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, speaking of money, though, uh, shout out to our sponsor, Cigar Noise. Uh, Dave West does all the stuff for Small Batch. Uh, we're not publishing the blind reviews. Uh, we didn't publish last week or this week. Ted got the COVID. He's doing better now, but we're just waiting until his palate is 100% perceiving the flavors. Gotcha. Um, why'd I bring this up? Because oh, they're a sponsor. We're in the, the black now. What's bad? Black or red? Uh, we were the black the- is, is you want to get all the black. So black is bad, which so I don't agree with that red. term. Who's in the red? We are. Well, we, we had a, overspent our podcast fund on oh. re-upping Zoom membership and uh, the little car fresheners, which I need to still send out. Yeah, hey, I'm gonna tomorrow. I'm gonna send you the package, and then you're gonna be in charge of it. That's fine. I don't know how many stamps it takes. Maybe two stamps to mail off uh, an air freshener. We'll see. It's uh, dude, it's, ever- Yeah, go ahead. It's been busy, man. It it, and it's uh it's not slowing down any at the airport i mean austin's blowing up we're hiring 70 ramp agents and we're uh we're going up like 30 more flights a day so nice it's good yeah i mean it's good it's good uh it's good for me i mean i like to work but some of these young cats don't like to work at all but i'm trying to buy a house here in a year or two and it's expensive down here so i know you probably work more than anybody i talk to I feel like when I was training at the uh, Ohlone Cigar Lounge, I was way more productive, even though I had like double the work to do in that week. Do you feel that way? Like when you have more responsibility, you get it all done quicker? I Well, here's my thing is I like to stay busy. Um, and so it's like if I don't have anything planned on my day off or like after work, like if I don't have anything to do, like, I'm like, I feel like guilty. And I'm, I'm like, well, I should stay at work then. You know, it's like, I don't like just to go home and, and sit and watch TV or something. So, um, but yeah, I do find myself more productive. It's just, it's, uh, it's overwhelming, but lo- I mean, that's the good thing is I live seven minutes from the airport, nine minutes or so. So that, I mean, there's some guys who travel 40 minutes to the, to work. So it's, but yeah, I do find myself more productive when I work more. It's also nice having a cigar while working as compared to uh, like going outside for a smoke and just watching YouTube. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, um, I, I, it's nice to also just relax, but I don't know. I just yeah. felt less guilty. I smoke a lot at work and my full-time gig, but it's not enjoyable you know, especially when it's like I was smoking when it was 95 degrees and it's just not enjoyable. So I try to smoke one at like 7 a.m. or I wake up early to smoke one on the way into work. And then I sit in my car for 30 minutes, mm. finish the cigar and then smoke it on the way in. And then I'll try to smoke one um, after the first my first two flights. I got a little break. And then if I don't get it in, then then I'm not smoking uh, at work because it's just it's not worth it. And. Uh, but. But now that's gonna be cooler. I don't know how much I'm gonna be smoking at work uh, because when it's nice out, I'll be out there a lot smoking. Dude, the weather just turned this week here. I mean, it's gonna be still in the 80s. Today was a little bit colder, but you can tell there's a breeze. The mornings aren't. Uh, they're a bit brisk. It's beautiful. In the, it's like 70 degrees in the morning. It got up to about 90. Um, I was talking to Skip about how, you know, I got here in the middle of July and. And I've kind of, I was surprised how well I adjusted to the heat, but everybody was telling me, oh, it was a mild, it was a mild uh, summer. I'm like, okay, whatever. You know, it was 95 to 98 every single day. I get it. It wasn't a hundred, but what's that extra two degrees going to fucking do? It's like someone eats a hot sauce and it's like, oh, it's, it's all right. But they're crying. (laughs) Yeah. Well, that's the thing. It's like, it'd be like when uh, people come to Wisconsin and you're like, Oh, this ain't bad. This isn't this isn't snow. It's like just three feet out there, or it's zero degrees right now. It's 
it's like it's cold like everything can be worse you know it's it's just like it's yeah exactly like oh that's really hot and then you you're like us oh, or that's oh you thought that was hot i got something even hotter it's like you just what it is what it is man you don't have to one up it yeah uh richie if you cut everything first of all congrats on the move um I don't think he's married yet. Is he married? I don't know when he's getting married. Oh, he's getting married. I didn't know yeah. That. Yeah. He moved to Canada and he's getting wed. Locking it up. Um, but he asked, does Tyler ever miss working a cigar shop? Uh, oh, ooh, that is a good question. It is. Thank I, you, I think it's the best question we've ever had. It is. Do I miss working at a cigar shop? No, uh, <laughs> not right now. No. Um, it's no, I, I don't. And it's, um, it's weird. I should, I feel like I should miss it, but it was at such a crazy time when I was working at Lake country. It was, it was a good time for me, but it was a bad time. Like I've, I've changed a lot in the, in the last like two or three years and like, for me, it got in the way of stuff. Like it got in the way of working more at the airport and it got in the way sometimes of traveling. Like if I wanted to go to Austin or go somewhere, it got in the way cause I couldn't get a shift. It got in the way of me, like going to temp and other places. It's so more of a responsibility than I'm working at a cigar shop. Yeah. I mean, it was, I was, that makes sense. yeah. And I had, big plans there you know me and matt had really big plans and it just didn't work out like i didn't i didn't know that after i lost that weight and started working at the airport more like how much i missed that work and it's weird you know it's like you know you you missed loading bags yeah actually i did because it was it's the it's the people it's fun being around airplanes and you know, I'm up there on this pay scale. So it's like, you know, you start making really good money where you can start doing whatever you want to do, you know, where it's like, if you want to go to Nicaragua, you can go, you know, it's it just, it opened up the doors to do stuff I couldn't do when I was broke, Yeah, you know, buy a house. And, but I do miss the people and, and the reps coming in and stuff, but um, I'm kind of like, I rather find people I, I like hang out with them um, instead of like, just because you smoke a cigar with friends. I think we've talked about this before, but that was a lot of the stuff at the cigar shop would be they're cool dudes. You know, no, this sounds bad. Maybe we'll edit this out, but yeah, I don't well, really no, a miss cigar it. shop is an open door. So you don't yeah. to choose who comes to visit you. Yeah. I like that thing with like, you say with your brother, like brothers by chance, friends by choice. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like uh same with the cigar shop. I mean, 95% of the people you like, but there's that, that few that just make it a pain in the ass, you know. Um, I miss, uh, last thing, I miss trying all the new stuff. Um, but a lot of the times you smoke it, you smoke the new stuff once and then you're, you're okay. You go back to your regular stuff, you know, like basically all I smoke is Coraline stuff, Coraline Patina and Coraline Roma Craft. That's pretty much all I smoke. I picked up some stuff from Warped just to try it out. Cause uh, John's also a fan of warp. So I brought some shit for John uh, at Roma. Um, Do you smoke the chinchale or whatever? Chinchale. Yeah, that was pretty solid, man. I liked it better than the, the, the first batch or first Harvich La Hacienda. Yeah. Um, first growth. First growth. There you go. Uh, but I just, I smoked them right off the truck. Uh, I'm excited to try that Jay London again. I'll, uh, cause I smoked that right off the truck. I got a fiber of those. Yeah, it was good. Okay. I'm going to give one to Mike cause Mike likes Connecticut's, uh, Mike Rosales. Um, last thing Richie asked was, will he ever let his boy Richie send him anything? Oh yeah. I got to give him my address. I got to send him shit. Uh, first I mean, of all, how about you just, well, I mean, that's Canada. I forget if there's a baseline. Cause I was going to say, just you send him the, uh car freshener that way he has your address yeah if it's gonna be do. 40 dollars to send that then it's better to wait for a a package or something no i'll, I'll send it. there's some stuff i want to send them um okay 
uh because richie's hooked it up i mean he he smoked or he sent me one of the what literally one of the best cigars i've smoked it was that cao vision the first one Ooh. i mean that was like that was old as hell and that had uh i think that was a cameroon wrapper that was delicious um and he sent me a lot of other rare shit too so i appreciate it he's got the plug uh, yes velvet smokes asks when you meet a new brand owner or blender what is the first question you ask them do you know who I am? <laughs> Can you see me? No, that's well, that's a misquote. You can't see me. Is that's not a question. How's it hanging left or right? I don't. Who's the? I mean, I don't think of meeting blenders, brand owners, I guess, but I don't know. I don't really. Uh, What's up? It's crack a lot. How's it hanging? What it do, baby? Oh, that was another, that was a topic from all my, because my podcast notes, I forgot them all now. Like one says, be nice to ladies. I don't know what I'm referencing. Uh, but one was like uh, interjections. Not quite a question, but we need some new interjections like Yahtzee or Chim Chimney boys. I'm going to erase those from the notes. Yeah, please. Um, <laughs> I was it? It would have been better with a guest, I think. No, it wouldn't have been. That's a bad idea. Yeah, I wanted to. Uh, We're off topic. Yeah, I wanted to, like, I wanted like word association. Like, I say a brand, and you tell me the first thing. That's a good one. That uh, comes to your mind. Um. All right, here we go. Uh, Crown heads. King. King? Oh, crown. Well, okay. If I if I took a second to think about it, I would say like Ford truck. But I feel like that's cheating. By the way, I, I like Ford trucks. Crown heads, I think of uh word association. Um maybe hat. Yeah. Hat or music, maybe. Or consistent are like the three things I think of. Um I'm trying to go like a little bit out, out there though. Yeah, I mean, we're uh, what about uh Fratello? Um bracelet. Na- NASA. <laughs> <laughs> Basketball. Basket dog rocket. <clears throat> uh rocket to me. Hey, um, you oh, I was referencing when you said dog rockets. Dude, I got it. Del- When's the last time you smoked a Fratello? No, I said rocket. It's not rocket. Mm. Crotch rocket. Okay. Pocket rocket. Um, Pop socket. Rice rocket. Vroom vroom. Uh, Pop lock and drop it. Pop. <laughs> no, I do like rocket power. Yo, know that that's it. Fratello is not his last name. Yeah, I know. You know what Fratello means? Yes. Is this okay? I got another. We played this game before. It's called Is It Racist? I was at work and I was talking to a, a friend of mine who's uh Latino and I asked him what the word fuerte meant or no, what was the word? Uh, suerte. It was a, it's a restaurant here in Texas, Austin. And he's like, I don't know. And then I'm like, Did I just assume he knows Spanish? And I did. And that was racist of me. It's not racist. Well, I sometimes also feel... I see a flower and I think, oh, I'm gonna smell this flower, and it doesn't have a scent to it. I guess, but he was, and it was funny because a few days earlier he was talking. He's a woodworker. Killing me. He was at somebody. By the way, he was at somebody's house helping them, uh, showing it, like doing some woodwork or whatever. And the guy's like, "Oh, do you do lawns too?" He's like, "What? The, what? What? No, I don't do lawns because he's Latino That's... descent." Yeah, okay, that's completely different than me thinking he knows Spanish. Yeah. I mean, uh, well, I don't care. And I asked him about that and I said I feel bad. He's like, "No, don't." He's like, um He's like, "We didn't learn Spanish." I mean, my he's like, "My parents spoke Spanish, but he they didn't they wanted us to fit in, so they taught us English first and never taught us Spanish." Yeah. So they would speak English all the time and not Spanish. He's like, I wish I would have learned it. I wish I would have learned Spanish young too. 
I wish um, I just knew any other language. Spanish would have been really helpful, yeah, for cigars. Hell yeah. I keep buying Spanish books, but I don't read them. Um, <clears throat> smoker ing dude. Smoking. It's smokering. I got it now. Oh, yeah. yeah. Says, uh, is Cool Tyler on steroids? Cool Tyler. That's uh, Tyler Jones. He's from never Espinosa. been. <laughs> to say he's never been considered cool tyler yeah because he's awesome. not cool tyler no he's not he's nerd tyler he's nerd tyler um and then there's oh, wait cool tyler is that tyler that we had You're on last cool time? tyler i'm funny tyler oh was he referring to i don't know i haven't seen he is listening tyler. Either, so yeah he we got li- CL- well because you because <laughs> we had him on one time he was like Yo, somebody said they don't like his voice. <laughs> Doesn't mean he doesn't listen to it. Oh, you got to have him back on. Tyler's a great dude. He's a model, a hand model. Um, Tyler's a good dude. I'm glad I went and visited him. His uh, his The guy who owns the oh. shop he works at, Larry's great too. I got to ask him. Glandon family. They have uh, like the Matthew line and some other cigars. It's a really small company. Like half of mm-hmm. it doesn't even have anything on them. But they sell really well at uh, my shop now. What's it called? Glandon Family. It sounds awful. Just the what's the name? What are the cigars called? Like the the Matthew is one that's the only oh one. God. The Scott or Scottish? It I don't sounds know awful. Okay. Who who makes them? Glandon. Oh, the the factory numbnuts. Uh, I want to say that it's Dominican something. Yeah, look it up. I'm not going to take the time right now. If you want to search it, Glendon family, you can. I'm going to look at the... Uh... Oh, yeah, because I saw that they carry them there. Yeah, smoke ring. So oh. I wanted to know uh, what he thought of that line. Nice. El Dandy Cubano asks... Great guy. Don Viso, you cigar smoking, world traveling son of a gun. <laughs> What are your 10 essential items? I was going to do a, a, a YouTube video based on that. A YouTube video? Like Instagram Live? Maybe. Or YouTube. YouTube. Uh, um, yeah, because they've been doing that like uh, Vice or something, GQ or some shit. Uh, a YouTube channel does it. For me, man, it's got to be uh my airpods and then i just also picked up the sony wireless which are dope as fuck they're expensive as fuck too um airpods uh uh a dental floss um lighter cutter dental cigar. floss really yeah i got i i carry uh the placards the okay. uh I think I posted a story where I'm like, you're supposed to have spaces in between your teeth. But I'll see people and they, I'll be talking to them and you can see the plaque in their teeth. Mm. Uh, your phone, man. Glasses. I mean, in my backpack. I'll, okay. I'll, all right. In my backpack, I have my passport. I got a cutter at all times. I got a lighter. I got fingernail clippers. I got uh, sunscreen. I got um, deodorant. Pause. Time out. Yeah. Fingernail clippers. Do you have a different size clipper for your fingernails and your toenails? No. You have the same size? Yeah, I, I, I used to use the one. toenail ones for your fingers? Yeah. Okay. Because I've always had both, but then one of them, my toenail clipper broke. And my girlfriend's just like, you have two different sizes? So, hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm not wearing any pants right now. I Okay, just don't move the camera or do any uh well, you could you can see my jacks. bare leg yeah when you can see my bare legs when i wear shorts well yeah you were super short super short what else, I, six inches no five and a half oh my god i, I went super Insane. i thought i went low <laughs> <laughs> not low enough that's well john wears coochie cutters too dude yeah that, that guy's a man well i i buy uh like skater like dickies you know they're mm. way too long they're like a, they're a little bit below your knee I, I can't wear those shorts, though, because I haven't been working out. And I just look like a rich, preppy. 
I don't look preppy anymore. I'm looking too old. Almost like uh, my dad will sue you. Yeah, exactly. I don't want to look like that. Dude, my, uh, my pants are falling off me. My belts don't fit. I have no leg muscles anymore. How does that have to do with your pants falling down? Isn't that your hip? No, it's I. Your hips don't shrink. It's like I popped out a baby. Oh, I had an ultrasound. That's a different probably, topic. Congratulations. No, no. Um, no, but I think my she legs had one. Shrunk. No. Oh. You gonna married. be a dad? We're not married. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> I no. Once once the gyms allow you to go in without a mask, then I'll maybe get a gym membership again. I just Using don't want to squats. pass out. I'm like passing out talking in front of a classroom. I've been doing, I've been knocking out some push ups here and there. Gotta I'm trying be. to do one pull up. That's a good goal. Because I could never do a pull up, but now I can actually hang from a bar and lift myself up a little. I can hang for a long time. Before yeah. I could never even, I couldn't even hang. So, well, that's one of the things like they at fairs, I'll say, hang on this bar for one minute and you'll win a hundred bucks. And people are just like, dude, that's the easiest hundred bucks I'm going to make. You can't do it. I also love like the, I want to learn the science of like, guess your weight and guess your, your age at the like six flags. Hmm. Remember that? Yeah. Fairs are Because fun. the thing is like, if you go, no, they're not. Cause they if are. you go, if you go, well, for people are watching like, for like yeah. eating an ice cream cone, if you're going to eat ice cream, waffle cone, baby. Yeah. Do it at a fair. Uh, What's the closest like amusement park to you? There's a um, Six Flags, I think, around here. What? It's in Anaheim, right? How far is that? No, there's one. Is it Six Flags? There's one like right by the um, 49er Stadium. Nice. Um, they had one in Gurney Mills, which was about an hour from Milwaukee and about half hour from Chicago. And then Arlington, Texas has one. So. Uh, I'm not I haven't been to an amusement park in years. I wouldn't mind going to one. I've never been to Disney World or Land or wherever. I definitely fares for me are above those because I don't enjoy roller coasters too much. I don't, I don't enjoy the idea of them. If I'm forced to go on one, I'll think it's an okay time. But like you know, you like pumpkin patches, right? I love fall. Yeah, fall is for fairs. No, for us, it's summer. We do the fairs in summer. Summer really? Fest, uh, State Fair, Dan Jansen Fest. You know what mm. Dan Jansen is? Nope. He's a, uh, a gold medalist. Uh, uh, not skiing, ice rink, uh, skating. And he's from like Greenfield, Wisconsin. Paulo like Antoine Ono? Yeah. Uh, and he won a gold medal. And he's got a park and a festival named after him in Greenfield, Wisconsin. It's pretty impressive. Yeah, I always I always post that joke on my Facebook right around Memorial Day. That's when the whole town of Greenfield would go to this one festival and we'd all meet there and, and stand in a circle drinking uh Miller Light out of a mm. plastic cup. I mean, if you could have anything named after you, what would it be? Festival's pretty cool. Um, like as long as it's not like a rave. A library, maybe? No, I don't. People don't use libraries anymore. No, that's true. They're um, just to vote. Only time you go there is to vote. Or when you have that one project a year that you need a an encyclopedia source. <laughs> Dude, I wouldn't mind. I want to buy an encyclopedia set. I wonder if that's. They're probably pretty cheap now, right? I mean, they have to be more affordable. My parents spent some money on a set when I was born, and then the He's internet came out. Uh, do you guys still have it? They do, yeah. Nice. I've so. always wanted like a big library, like yeah, like a, a moving staircase. Like I wanted my smoke room to be like that, but then it didn't pan out. Dude, like a shelf of books, a shelf of cigars, all the way to the ceiling. Yeah, that'd be dope. Um, top I to got bottom, some, front to back. Top to bottom. <laughs> I got some. I uh, I got some dope ass frames, and I I uh, I got some really cool like album posters mm -hmm. it's like the album art and then the track listings and stuff so uh eventually i get to i gotta get a shit hanged hung well hung i get a hung you can you can say both hanged hung 
Hanged, I think, is usually like public execution. Hanged by the neck. If you got a giant Johnson, you're well hung. Well hung. Anyways. So well, warped. Still- that was good. You smoke anything else? Recently? Um have you smoked the new? I just got it in today from Small Batch. The 10th anniversary HVC. Yeah, I got it from the trade show. It was delicious. They had them at the trade show? Yeah. Ray, HVC, Rainer was there? Rainer, Rainer how do you say Rainier, his name? Rainier. Rainier. Dang it. I got it. Rainier Lorenzo. Yes, he was there. Okay. Me and him go back, man. We go back like chiropractic. Have you ever heard of the term blowing your back out? Yeah. What does it mean? It means you like went to pick something up and. Oh, no, no. I meant get your back blown out. Yeah, same thing. No, no, no. Get, means, if you get your back blown out, it's uh like, like you somebody was fuck, riding you, you. You got fucked so good that you're like your back got blown out. So somebody oh. at work was talking about how she got her back blown out, or we were talking about someone at work was saying that they got their back blown out and like, oh, uh, I got an appointment next week. Um, we're like, what? She thought I meant going to the chiropractor. It's like, oh. no, you, you get fucked so good that you're back. So I thought that was funny. Get your back blown out. So it was like an inside joke forever. Nice. Oh, foundation. Coming out with uh, David and Goliath size of the Havana seed. Did you like how I asked Nate about that? Yeah, like on, the, on the call. Yeah, you're putting me. I feel like you probably have talked to him about that. Or m- maybe in like private. But I'm cigar media. Who knows what I'm going to do with that information? I'm going to pedal it to... Uh, you or me you're in media i don't know like we we don't have yeah i feel like i've always been labeled media you're like the fringiest fringe media i've ever met in my life because i don't post i don't write anything yeah who would okay no i heard on i heard nick talking about it gotcha that was a nice little call i'm excited man i don't like that i don't like those sizes but i like that blend a lot so you don't like the Goliath size, but you like the um the sixty Romacraft, the sixty. It's different. Like well, it's what I like. What Skip does is not to a hundred percent to a point. Mm-hmm. It's it opens up like he cuts the point off, like the. But you the, have to open your mouth up more when it's not to. A I'm point. talking about where you light it. Ah, okay, I got it's you. A, it's the it's foot. not to a point. Yeah, the foot. Um, is it weird that when I think of cigars and there's multiple feet, I want to say foots? No, okay. well, no, but those grand perfectos are delish, especially, I'm, the, especially the EC. Mm, I smoked one today. Whenever you're thinking about sending things, I might. Well, I don't know if you're too busy or if I should just call up like rudy or someone else to get some uh i want to get the uh ec intemperance and those fatties small fatties i'll get it let me know and i'll, I'll get that for you yeah. and then um the grand perfecto in aquatane i think you need the grand perfecto in neanderthal do i that's where it's at all right i'll I don't know. send me what you want and i'll get it for you all right I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off just because I got the HVC box and then the you bought the box sound, yeah. Damn, it's expensive box, bro. No, it's not. 150 bucks. Yeah, 166 with California tax and discounted. That's can you, expen- can you edit this part out? Um, what I'm about to say. Now forget it. Yeah, remind me because i i don't want to i might just post this without editing just post it yeah yeah all right cool man um text me or whatnot yeah i'll let you know um oh ultrasound so remember how this was like probably only two podcasts ago i said I you dropped, had a micropene no okay go on i dropped the craft 21 into the fire pit when i was only halfway done with it yeah 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 so that camping trip good time with my brothers we had a good amount to drink in the last night. We tried to finish the whiskey and we ran out of water. Anyway, drive home. Next day, I have a doctor's appointment for the vitiligo on my face. 
mm-hmm. which I think is I think it's growing. I can't tell. It's bad. Yeah. Cow Why don't face. you shave it? I'm trying to become the real moo cow. I can't. No, I can shave it, but the skin underneath is albino now. Oh shit, bro. Yeah. There's nothing they can do. Nope. I mean, I'm putting so it's extra white right now because I'm putting cream on it. But no, that's me now. Got a girlfriend at the right time. Fiance? Uh, hopefully soon. I got to save up. I got to not buy. Let me get to what I'm All saving right. up. That'll happen sometime soon. Hopefully. Uh, I go to the doctor. He's like, yeah, vitiligo. He's like, thanks, doc. He said, oh, you haven't done blood tests in a long time. You want to do them? He's like, sure. Why not? Anyway, the blood test came back saying my liver didn't look uh, so solid. And I was like, I should I have said that I'd just been drinking heavily for like a week? Probably. I probably should have. I don't know how long it takes to clear that. But anyway, I was kind of paranoid. So I didn't drink for a month and I had to go in for uh, an ultrasound. And then he's like, yeah, everything looks great. You're good to go. And then I got charged. I got, I didn't expect to pay a lot. It was like 345 for an ultrasound. Fuck. Yeah. Your insurance sucks. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm glad to hear that you paid 345 bucks <laughs> because you decided not to tell the doctor <laughs> that you had a idiot. binge. You went on a binge. Uh, but that being said, I was like during summer school, I was enjoying more drinking like on a weekday. But Bro, now, that, that's why people anymore. are like, oh, you don't drink. It's like, first of all, I smoke a shit ton. Yeah. And I mean, I'm a lot healthier now. Now all my like cholesterol is way down. My blood pressure is down. Everything's down. But I still, you know, I could lose another 40 pounds. So it's like I can't I can't overeat, over smoke and over drink or drink, you know. So I'm like, I'm good with the, with two of them. I can't do all three. It's a good argument. Good point. Bro, the queso down here is dope. You got to get back down here, get some queso. It's good stuff. Yeah, I went out with uh, John and Jarrah, John's wife, uh, mm-hmm. on Friday for some. Actually, they were telling me that was traditional Mexican food. No, I, it felt everything's no. The place we we didn't go to the place you went to, but it was Tex Mex. Um, but no, people at uh, my full time job were telling me the place that we went to, me and John and Jarrah, Jarrah, was not Tex Mex. And I'm like, I'm pretty sure it was. Hmm. It's too confusing. Tex Mex. It's just um, Americanized Mexican food. Do we have any Bow Wow candidates for this week? That would be our boy of the week and our worst of the week. Anybody post anything on Instagram that you hated or loved? I don't like how Punch posted the, the Bentu box or whatever. And it's the Kung Pao, the egg roll, and the whatever. Yeah. But the cigars in the box are Photoshopped. And it looks horrible. What? So I commented, I'm like, on the cigar aficionados post, I'm like, I'm like, those cigars just don't look right to me. I don't, do we want to, sl- I don't know if I want to slander a brand on a post. Of, if I do like an Instagram post. Oh. That would be fine. I don't know. I really, I want the worst of the week to be somebody that listens. So not like just some stranger, like you're an idiot. I wanted to be like, yo, Richie, you're a fool for some reason. But I don't have any reasons. Why don't you see? Why don't you make fun of like Richie for having like a fake girlfriend? Why is it me? (laughs) As you I'm eating. Yeah. Finish that cake. Because Richie isn't lying like you. Oh my goodness. I could have done that for the song today. Bake a cake by little Debbie. Or a birthday song by two chains. All oh, I, I want, want for, for my, my birthday, birthday is a big booty yeah. hoe. Or birthday sex by Jeremiah. Which I always would joke be like birthday text instead of sex text. Dude, I joke with the, the two chains one. I say big burrito. Yeah, but the thing is, when I joke, it's funny. When you joke, it's cringe. I'm looking forward to Chogui coming out the cigar. Chogui. Yeah. 
coming back. Just scrolling through Instagram. I want to try the new uh, one from Cigar Hustler, the Bangarang. I don't like the band, but yeah, I want to try it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it leads a lot to be desired. <laughs> I just, it's like when I'm when I'm buying a beer or whiskey too. I want the bottle to look good. Is that is that dumb? I don't care if it's dumb. That's how I, I'm an artist. It's like an album. Are you? you want the album? Yeah. When you listen to a song and an album comes up, you don't want it to be an ugly looking album. Anyway. Um, I don't smoke enough Illusione. That sells really well at the shop. I smoke the Candela just for kicks. How was it? Um, it, it wasn't bad, but if I'm smoking in the morning, I'd probably rather smoke a Connecticut, but there's, I don't know if there's, the shop has too many Connecticut's. It was like once in a while, smoke something green. I'd do it. I'd prefer the, um, Fomorian or that Jack Wyatt, Jake Wyatt. Those would be, I think my top Jake. two, Jake Wyatt. I like those candelas. I thought the wasabi was solid by Espinosa. Once again, the band just looks too cheap on that. I like it. Hmm. Wasabi, bento box. Um, what else? Uh, dude, I smoked uh, an Undercrown for the first time in a long time. Which one? The uh, original. Maduro. The Maduro. Yeah. It was good. I remember the first shop I worked at, they came out with the the original one, Undercrown. Mm-hmm. And then it came out with the Connecticut and then the Sun Grown. And then they added the Maduro to the name of the first one, obviously. And she's like, I never ordered Undercrown Maduro. I'm like, well, it's pretty obvious. They they just added Maduro to the name because it's a Maduro. It's a San Andreas Maduro. Simple concept. Yeah. The Fiat Lux, I enjoyed. I love that cigar. I think I recommended, did I recommend that to, um, yeah, there was a, a lady who came in and she seemed to know what she was smoking. Um, she asked also, she works at a coffee shop, but she was interested in some of the new stuff, the crown heads, Pichardo that we have in. Um, and I recommended that one, the Fiat Lux and then the Kappa Special four kicks as like medium cigars with a good amount of flavors. Did she ask you? Never mind. Um, uh, hmm. I forgot what I was going to say. No, I didn't forget the joke, but I forgot. I had another question. Um, you held your tongue. Omar had been in the shop. They have his, uh, he signed something. 2014, Omar was there. I thought uh, that was the last time somebody bought a cigar from Never mind. Um, Did you? Wow. I true. When, when you told me that. She was, he was there and the lady from La Serena. I thought they were there like together when you were there. No, that would have been, uh, I would have been like Instagram live in that moment. Didn't happen. Sam Lucia. Lucia, not Lucia. Really? Was there one C or two C's? Doesn't matter. It's like you say. Tell him he's saying his name wrong this whole time. Who is sir? <laughs> I don't know. What else? Warped came up with something. Where are you with the uh, pumpkin spice um, controversy? Good question. I have a few pumpkins growing in the backyard based on like our last post. You can see that. I love pumpkin in things that are savory so the last two years i've made pumpkin gnocchi from scratch pumpkin spice is like it's baking spices pretty much i enjoy baking spices in cigars 
I like cloves around November, December, because I think they go good. And you ever put cloves and oranges like potpourri? No. Oh, natural potpourri. Very cool. Also, do you think Drew Estate should have acid potpourri? Or would that be like then associated with toilets? It's potpourri. That's what that's like a brand of potpourri is potpourri. I don't know, man. Have you seen the sexualized potpourri bottle at Bed Bath and Beyond? No, what is it? It's like this girl, this maid bending over with a short skirt. This is potpourri. It's like sex sells this. Poke her. Like rear? is she I don't know if it's like sexual. Is she tuned dropping a deuce? Maybe she dropped something. You ever hear a poker in the front, liquor in the rear? Yeah, I've heard that. Some Tron would say. Was that like, yeah, <laughs> we got to get him back on. Well, speaking of Tron, does, I don't know if he likes his band, but I was listening to it and I just thought of him. Um, the song, My Name is Mud. Oh, Primus. Primus, yeah. I just feel like that's a Tron band. My Name is Mud. That song goes hard at the beginning and then it gets hick. And like weird dark hick goes to a place that's, I that's don't a good song. Be. And then uh, Brenda's big bad beaver. <laughs> you yeah. heard that song? Yeah, it's come up on shuffle a few times. Nice. Um, this is not cigar related. Oh, let's um, unless you have a few questions or podcast things left what is a band-aid flex like if you have a cut and you can choose any band-aid design what are you going for uh pokemon okay well you i mean spongebob was pretty cool for a while i don't know spongebob popped in speed racer Okay. I'd do a speed racer band-aid. I won my first fantasy football game this week. Congrats. Remember, what was it, like a month ago when we had our podcast and you said, oh, I'll have you draft. And well, you told games. me you were busy. Did I say that? Yeah. Like, oh, 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 oh. I play just it. wanted you to log. Play that back. I wanted you to log in and do it. Hmm. What else? How's work? Know. How's work? How are the kids doing? Okay. Some of them are a bit rough, still uh, in their online mindset mentality. Do rag mentality. Do rag. I don't think I have any funny stories. I have hot. So you know, I make my own hot sauce. No. It's salsa. Well, I do. Anyway, but I was talking about how you have to ferment it and it causes it to last longer. Yep. Now there's like, oh, you have any more fermented stuff, Mr. Sipinary? It's like Mr. Sipinary. It's, it's hot sauce. It has good bacteria for you. Are you excited about September almost being over? I don't I tell them not to use that word in class. They can't they can't say simp. I don't I don't allow them to use that word, no. All right. Yeah. Class rules. You're like, you can you guys can call me Dom. I'm a cool teacher. Um, I was told that okay, there's psychotic and then there's what's the one where you don't understand people's emotions? Uh he's a blank. Sociopath. Sociopath. I use that in class and I was told that that was offensive. Sociopath? To sociopaths. <laughs> what about a, a narcissist? Like, what? Do you know any nar- narcissists out there? Um, people who post pictures of themselves. I, I consider... post pictures of myself all the time. That's There's a difference. They're you do it because it's funny. I and people, people take it fucking serious. That's what I hate. That's the thing. If we're friends on Facebook... Like, fuck. That's why I hate fucking Facebook. People 
Like if you don't know me enough, like where I joke around literally 99.99% of the time, like don't be my fucking friend. Like somebody got mad because I called BDP a, a boomer. <laughs> He's like, well, you're a fucking typical millennial. I'm like using words that I don't even know what they mean because I, I was talking, I said BDP. Mm-hmm. I'm like, dude, calm down. It's like, you don't know that me and BDP joke like that. I was like, joke okay, or bro. choke? No, we don't choke each other's chicken. Okay. Well, I say you're choking each other's chicken. It could just be choking each other. Like a choke and stroke? Eating some chicken. Pollo. Um, where was I going with that? Oh, yeah, because, I mean, there's this post today. I think I unfollowed her. It was like, so glad that I moved to this new city. And then two pictures of herself. <laughs> like in her in an apartment, just selfies. Well, no, the whole like I posted a picture of me like, like talking about uh, catch flights, not feelings. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's that's what you're not a narcissist. Yeah, there are people on Facebook mainly. Instagram. That's where I saw it. I went to Austin mm. Airport, and I was because I always wonder. I'm like, do people take pictures of me when I'm outside working? And there's okay, a lot the of fact pictures. That you're wondering this might make you a narcissist. No, no, no. Not like people take pictures of us all the time. I'm just wondering if there's any with me in it. There it is. Oh, who is she? What I saw today. Love working remotely. Who is she? Working and just experiencing this city. Two selfies. One just kind of smile. One actually smiling. I don't know. I knew her in college. I think she's we had single. a class together. She looks fake. She's pretty hot. Um, I think she's Cuban. That doesn't change anything. Um, but so I was I going through the, let me finish. I was going through yeah. Austin pictures that people tagged the airport and it was this hot chick and that was her caption. Mm. It was three pictures of her posing like in the, by like in the terminal mask on mask off. And it said, catch mm. flights, not feelings. So I'm like, I'm going to post a picture of me looking longingly into the camera and saying, catch flights, not feelings. Just kidding. Working another double. (laughs) Like, I'm not flying out. I'm working. I'm working your flight that you're flying out on. I thought it was funny, but people are like, are you all right, man? I'm like, dude, come on. No, I cut myself to feel better. See if I still see if I still feel. Hmm. Um, that's um kanye no i don't know what is that no that line i put my hand on the stove i don't know to see if i still bleed do stoves cut you i don't know i'm that's i kind of heard something about like wait do it again to see if i still bleed and nothing hurts anymore i feel kind of free no that doesn't sound like anything i ever heard I think of Stan by Eminem where he talks about Stan says he cuts himself and he's like, Eminem's like, dude, I'm just joking when I say that shit. <laughs> so. Please don't go. Put my life into pieces. Oh, here's a question. Yeah. What is a, a song that's played a ginormous amount of time that if it turns on on the radio, you turn it off. And if by some weird reason your radio stops working and it gets louder, you crash the car. Is there any song like that? Like for Adam Carolla, it was always Hotel California. If he heard Hotel California one more time, he was going to kill himself. Is there a song for you? Mm. Me, anything by Bon Jovi. Yeah, I've really cooled you down too. on Bob. Bon Jovi. You too. I don't like you too either. I actually, I turn. I'll listen to Bon Jovi, even though I'm not a fan. Oh God. I will turn off the radio on uh, when you two plays. It's a beautiful day. Or Bruce Springsteen. Okay. Nah, he's Bruce. all right. Um, I'll turn off Stone Temple Pilots. Oh come on! I'll do it. I am. I am. I am. I shit. I want to get. Is that even Stone Temple? I don't know. No. I love fucking that 90s grunge, man. Ah, Nirvana is the only one that does it for me. Do me a favor tonight. Listen to Radiohead Kid A. 
it's a 20 year anniversary of it this year. Okay. Kid A, Radiohead. That's what I meant to ask you. So you know how you started the show to, was it the last time with that super depressing Radiohead song? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to ask you if I have your permission to remove it from our Spotify playlist. Why? Because we have a good vibe going. Like we have all its different genres, but it's good listening music. And then that song is just, it's down in the beats, man. Is that all I need? Oops. I don't remember. I have to go up and check. Let's see. How... I think it's all I need. Yeah, you can. By the way, that. shout out to our Spotify playlist, Cigar Noise Boys intros. All the songs that we start our shows with. Well, if you thought that was depressing, you're going to think Kid A. Kid A is all I need. Yeah. Kid A is a great fucking album. It starts off with uh, Everything's in Its Right Place. That's a great fucking song. Uh, How to Disappear Completely is fucking amazing. Basically, he came up with that song as, you know, they, Radiohead came out with Creep, which was like, took him to the next stratosphere. And it was like, mm-hmm. basically, everybody thought it was like another grunge, like Nirvana. But they were way more than that. And uh, then they came out with uh, The Benz, and then they came out with OK Computer, which was like, Probably the greatest album of the 90s is OK Computer. It's got Paranoid Android. It's got Let Down. It's got uh, Karma Police. And then he was just super stressed out. He was touring for over a year straight. And he was talking to the lead singer of, of REM. And he was like, dude, I can't, I can't fucking take anymore. I've been on the road for two years touring. And he's like, you know, you just got to close your eyes and tell yourself that this isn't happening and you're not here. So that's like the whole, like the whole album is like that vibe. Like I'm not here. This isn't happening, Hmm. you know? So it's a, it's a really fucking killer album. And then uh, that's the 20 year anniversary. So I ordered the 20 year anniversary vinyl that's coming in a few months. And then I ordered the, uh, like a coffee table book they did for that. And then, uh, and then Bonavir. Wait. If this is the 20th anniversary, this had to have come out. Wait. Yeah, 20th anniversary. Then this had to have come out like eight years after Creep. Is that right? No. uh, Creep came out like 92, 94, 95? Because I can almost swear that I remember in college telling my college girlfriend when i looked at my phone yo creep by radiohead is 20 years old today i thought it was 20 maybe it was 15 and she's Uh, like okay (laughs) i don't know when creep came out that was fun so i'm just going to talk about this relationship while you're doing it looking your thing up Yeah, yeah i think it lasted three one no one month or three months 92 record she met my family and I broke up with her that same night. Why? Because I told her I wanted to kiss other girls. How how much of a douchebag? <laughs> I was being honest, though. I was doing the right thing at the time. Why did you take her to your family, though? Because they were visiting. and No, they were visiting me in uh, at my college. I was like, oh, meet my girlfriend. My ex-girlfriend. <laughs> Well, that, yeah, I was after. Oh, also, she wore, like, the same thing as my sister. The hot (laughs) one? I love both both my sisters, and I don't think you should. Well, she's in. I forget which one you thought. Don't break my heart. I couldn't if I tried. My oldest sister just is like, oh, by the way, I'm in the UK taking master's in linguistics. Okay, that's cool. Uh, Wow. It's also the it's the ten year anniversary of Bon Iver Bon Iver is the album called Bon Iver. I don't fucking know how to say that. Come up with a fucking name that people can say, motherfuckers. I don't listen to them. Well, listen to that album. Listen to track number. Just do me after you hang up. Listen to track number. I don't even know how to say the fucking name. Uh, track listing number six. It's uh the song's called it's H I N N O M Texas. H I N N O M got it. But it's like uh it's spelled 
it's like a religious thing because there is no town in Texas called that. <laughs> so it's like it has to do with like gotcha something with uh the Bible or something. Dude, only um, a true Texan would know this. Well, I looked up the song. Let me look up the meaning real quick. It's a uh, uh da, 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 da. the old testament, the valley between below Jerusalem where children were sacrificed and where idolatry was practiced. Idolatry. Idolatry was practiced. And where later O F F A L and refuse were slowly burned. Later off. Dude, these I don't fucking like words. I mean, I was just yeah, this other group, I was reading the Old Testament, would have their like kids just walk through fire until they died, I think. Oh my lord, it's a fire. I'll, I'll that. You ever um, drink a fireball? <laughs> You're disgusting. Yeah, in college. No, that's good. I hate the fucking thing. It's like, oh, this tastes like fireball. No, Kathy. It tastes like cinnamon, you alcoholic. You ever see the memes? Well, there there is a difference between cinnamon candy and cinnamon spice. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, when I worked at a nightclub, we had Fireball Fridays. They would play that song like three times in a row because Fireball. there was a discount on Fireball shots. It was the worst. So maybe that's, that's the my worst song. song. That's the Fireball. worst song. Oh, 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 oh. Fireball. Or, uh, Timber is bad too. I oh. I liked that, and then it was overplayed. What's your favorite song by Kesha? You can't say TikTok. Or you can if you want. Timber. It'd have to be Timber then. I, don't, I can't name any others. Uh, favorite song by Lady Gaga? Ooh. You and I was the what we did on our Spotify playlist three shows ago. That's you and I? One. I like that one, yeah. After Fame Monster, I stopped listening. Her mm-hmm. second album. Um, I like uh, Poker Face, I think. They got a little bit formulaic. I need to listen to that one with Beyonce again. Telephone? Yeah, I remember liking that. There, she also came out with a song called Monster. It didn't like it wasn't like a single, but it's a good song. He ate my heart. I love that girl. Ra 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 ra. Oh, Bad Romance is a great song. Alejandro. Yeah, yeah that was meh. Alejandro. Anyways, let's wrap this shit up. Yeah. All right. We're going to be more consistent. Dom actually, usually Dom would be the one to, hey, man, what are you doing? He didn't text me for three weeks. So that's why I'm going to see. I'm like, let's see how long this motherfucker goes without messaging me. Three weeks was the answer. Okay. First of all, this is a two way. This is a two two way. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, No, I'm I'm really bad at texting when I'm uh, busy. I usually text you when I'm outside smoking a cigar on YouTube. What are you watching on YouTube? Well, I ha- like cooking shows or fantasy football. There's a podcast. How about you start putting that fantasy football energy into cigars so you can start I'm, being a better salesman? Yeah, I'm down. But I found out because I was super intimidated like day one of working because you always like berate me and I feel like I know nothing about cigars. You know more but than people, the average. Yeah, people that come in the shop know nothing. And it's like, oh. But do they think you know a lot? Yeah. Like there's you do one know guy... for a regular consumer, you know a lot. Yeah. Yeah. But you're in the media. You should know more. Okay. Well, I'll get there. All That's right. Go on. We... Tell your story real quick. We know this one guy picked. Um, we actually uh, had the Zazi Bobbies okay. and uh, Lampert and Ooh. Uh, Via Kazdagli. And I was like, oh, Lampert. I was like, hey, when you smoke that, let me know if you taste orange. Oh no! I believe it. And then it's like, oh hey, I'm you know, uh, Blender and Yana Ortez. He's like, oh yeah, I was just uh, trying to look this up before I picked it out. I was like, yeah. And I, I don't think I was wearing my Mombacho hat at that time. Don't wear that hat. What the heck? Don't wear that hat. Mombacho's cool again. It, she makes it cool. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. Do you see the the packaging she's doing? It looks like a Toblerone bar. No, I didn't see that. Where is I that? High hopes. Is that on her on her Instagram or High Mombachos? Apple pie in the sky. Um, I think it was Mombachos. Did you see the new Frankenstein by Tatawahe, the new box? The Redux. The one that has like all of them? No, that's the Monster Mash. Oh. 
He Redux, it just I got say no. it's on half field today. And then did you see the Aladino candy bar they're coming out with? No. Go on half wheel. All right, guys. It's been real. See you next week. Yep. Drive slow, homies. Rock and roll. Keep those cigars on ice.